Well, Sine investigators and business owners returned to the scene of a huge fire at a DeKalb County office park. We brought you the story right off the top yesterday on Fox 5 News at 5 as breaking news. Huge flames shooting from the Kensington Park uh, par complex there. Fire officials have not determined a cause. And as Fox 5's Will Nunley reports now, several small local businesses now have to start over from nothing. Now the cleanup begins. We got some cords under there we still need. Just hours after a massive fire engulfed this two story office building off Memorial Drive, tenants returned to salvage what they could and figure out what's next. I mean, and then when we got here today and saw the devastation, like, I don't have words for it. Among those displaced, Amani Baskin. She runs a nonprofit center for survivors of sexual and domestic abuse. We do a lot of one on one counseling, a lot of group support work. I mean, this is devastating for us. Baskin considers herself among the luckier ones. Her center was on the ground floor. Many of her belongings can be saved, but not all of them. I went in earlier to look at all my clients' files, were literally swimming in water. Water dripped from the ceiling as her team recovered what they could. But we're thankful that no one got hurt and uh, we're praying for the people above us. Um, the hole upstairs was demolished, um, but we're, we're uh, mindful that uh, we are very blessed. This office building was far from empty. We're told a government agency, recording studio, and tax service are among several local businesses starting over. Baskin says she did not have renter's insurance, but her center is all about faith and perseverance. She says she's going to rely on both for a new beginning. And now is where you get the chan chance to see like what you teach, does it line up with what you believe? And so here is that time for, you know, for my name is Imani and it means faith. So I'm real clear that that's how we will get on the other side of it. In DeKalb County, Will Nunley, Fox 5 News.